Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 14th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun the last 48 hours, as we have had quite a few events to talk about, and a very big event to talk about. An X-class solar flare erupting on the sun today right there that was in an earth facing position that instantly put us into an r3 level 3 radio blackout conditions you're going to see something going across the screen here on sdo there was an eclipse i'm not sure what it was but having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming and outgoing here a little earth to scale comparison and watch that sunspot region right in front of us. That is where the X-class solar flare occurred. Bam! After a very large plasma filament, looking at the last 48 hours, there were quite a few events that led up to it. And as well, another plasma filament developing opposite side of the sun, where all this activity just recently happened. Amazing images here. Look at those plasma prominence. Boy, oh boy, amazing stuff. We got to really keep an eye on what our sun is up to here in the solar maximum 25, solar cycle 25, which is a maximum. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, just some amazing images. The last 48 hours, three CMEs to talk about, and as well, we've got a coronal hole that is getting ready for another Earth-facing position. 171 angstroms here and this is where you can really see the umbral fields from the solar or from the sunspot regions and as well all the plasma looping around the surface of our sun observing on our sun right now eight sunspot regions and here they all are right now another close look here at our sunspot regions you can see those blackened holes on the right-hand side, sunspot grouping, and that is where the X-class solar flare occurred. Cresting in, we do have some more doozies getting ready for a show. Current space weather conditions, we are under R3, level 3, strong radio blackout impacts. Wide aerial blackout of high-frequency radio communication is possible. Solar winds are coming in at 321 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux showing here a strong, two strong M-class solar flares, and of course, the X-class solar flare. Solar proton flux instantly impacted and showing geomagnetic activity. We hopped up to a KP4 the last couple nights due to the coronal hole wind stream. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral and these two CMEs shot off from our sun here on the 13th. Expected arrival here on the 15th. Two minor solar storms on their way. And then this one set to give us a glancing blow. Iswas space prediction spiral showing a large CME from either that plasma filament eruption or the X-class solar flare. Little yellow circle is Earth. Having a look here at the aurora forecast for both the northern and southern hemisphere. Expect a northern light show tonight. And as well, the Geminoid meteor shower, which is going on right now. I went out for about two minutes and I saw 10 meteors crossing by. So big northern lights tonight and as well, meteor show. Eyes to the skies, everybody. Having a look at Lasco 2 showing the three CMEs that shut off from our sun. And as well, that flash which was the X-class solar flare. And, of course, we had that sun-diving comet, which either crashed into the sun or went around. Not really sure. We didn't see it come out the other side. But there was quite a bit of disruption on the sun afterwards, so who knows? Maybe it did crash into the sun, and that's why the sun is reacting the way it is right now. But let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours, as we are up in over 300 earthquakes, so slightly above average, and just recently, we started seeing an earthquake swarm in the Philippines. 
about 10 earthquakes in about an hour or two. And as well a 5.3 there, Mog Islands, Marianas Trench. Deepest earthquake today, 592 kilometer depth, Fiji region, 5.0. And as well a 5.5 here, the Southern Hemisphere towards the Antarctic Circle. And as well a 5.4 South Sandwich Islands, 5.1 here, San Antonio de los Cobros. Very active around the world right now. 5.0 Mid-Atlantic Ridge and as well Puerto Rico seeing lots of activity and as well the Virgin Islands 3.9 and through Panama today 4.4 Guatemala 5.4 across the United States minor activity continues at Menton, Texas and westward into New Mexico having a look at USGS there's still minor activity continuing Texas and as well, minor activity today reported west of Yellowstone, Mammoth, Wyoming. And minor seismicity keeps bouncing back and forth right now between California and Alaska. And of course, Hawaii. Looking at 57 earthquakes right now, but there was about 70 earthquakes across the island earlier. And it looks like Kilauea getting ready for a possible eruption. On the big island so heads up seismicity increasing 300 earthquakes past 24 hours 57 of them on the big island and now let's have a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers around the world definite increase and we're seeing a lot of red circles right now those are all the recent earthquakes so definitely something brewing right now and i think it could be hawaii or Iceland, Rick James Ridge. We saw a couple earthquakes um, in the Norwegian Sea today as well, 5.5. So the last seven days for earthquakes, very active, lots of deep earthquakes as well. So heads up, stay aware, prepared, just be ready, folks. Larger, shallower earthquakes tend to follow very deep earthquakes. And we just had a 592 kilometer depth, so. Let's see. Now let's go to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Got Sabancaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador. Lots of flood alerts here across India, Malaysia. We've got Sangay in Ecuador. Krakatoa in Indonesia. Fuego in Guatemala. Santa Maria, Guatemala. Tocono in Indonesia. Ubinas in Peru. Marapi, Indonesia, still erupting. Updated 20 hours ago. Having a look here at satellite imagery around the world. Two atmospheric rivers stretched across the northern hemisphere right now, the Atlantic and Pacific, stretching from the Gulf of Mexico right up to Iceland. Looking over the Pacific Ocean, huge low pressure system, North Pacific right now. Center of the low is just east and heading over Kamchatka, eastern Russia. We've also got Pretty strong system affecting northeastern Australia. Intense thunderstorms and severe weather across Argentina, Bolivia. High pressure ridge building in for Europe. As you've seen quite a few days of rain, things are set to change here. Having a look at the SO2 forecast, thanks to our volcanoes. We've got volcanoes in Ecuador there and as well Mexico, Indonesia here, Merapi, and the Russian volcanoes in Kamchatka. Eruption there at Etna, Mount Etna in Italy. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. Systems affecting Europe this week. One northward, 
heading into eastern Russia. Lots of rain towards India. And then watching the long-range forecast here. Intense system here developing possible blizzard conditions for Finland, Norway, and then into Russia, where they're going to be going right into some extreme cold temperatures, minus 60 in some parts of northern Russia right now. Now let's look over the West Pacific, Australia, and Southeast Asia. Strong systems affecting Japan this week, and as well lingering low pressure systems across the Northern Territory of Australia. Watch for extreme weather breaking out here, 19th into the 20th, Eastern Shores, Australia, and southward towards New Zealand. No cyclones or typhoons forecast in this long range forecast. And then overlooking North America, as we've got big high pressure ridge built in right now. It's going to be nice this week, but that is set to change, but not last for too long. Also got a big low in the Pacific that will be heading towards California. And then we've got a big system here developing, still forecast for Miami, extreme weather, like pretty much almost a tropical system here developing. 983 millibars. So yeah, it's close to tropical storm. And this will ravage the East Coast. Strong winds, extreme weather, and as well snow on the backside. Lots of systems affecting you this week. Both coastlines. And then high pressure ridge. Cold high pressure ridge builds for the long range. 23rd into the 24th. We could see a white Christmas in parts of Ontario and through the prairies. Overlooking South America and Africa. Daily evaporation rains across both continents, but extreme weather seems to be breaking out. It's very prevalent this week through Argentina, Bolivia, and Paraguay. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Lots of information shared. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your daily due. Love y'all. We'll see you next video. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.